At the time, I just wanted to pass the test. I was very, very interested in the program. I was looking forward to the new adventure. And now I kind of reflect on it and I figure maybe we led the way. We started the breaking of the glass ceiling. Pilot Sarah Ratley loved flying. After competing in all six women's transcontinental air races, she received the message in the early 1960s from Dr. Lovelace, saying she had qualified to begin the first phase of physical testing for a project called Mercury 13, which was a group of women who trained to be astronauts for America's first human spaceflight program. I had to, of course, uh, I had already used up all my annual leave, and so I had to go to Albuquerque on my own expense without pay. Dr. Lovelace uh, called me in his office and told me I had passed, and I was very, very happy. That while well, there were 25 who were contacted, only 19 went through the tests and 13 passed. It was very hard to find w women in 1960 who could meet all their requirements. The requirements were a commercial license, 1,500 hours flying time, a uh, college degree, preferably in the STEM subjects, and a lot of recent flying experience. The, the one requirement we couldn't make was we didn't have jet pilot time because only men in the military were getting it, and women were not allowed to be pilots in the military till later. After passing the first stage of testing, the women planned to go to Pensacola, Florida for further testing. However, the women received a telegram saying that their plans had been canceled. I was very depressed about the whole situation. This is advising postponement. but I never really gave up hope. It just was the way things were at the time. It was a Camelot atmosphere. Uh, John Glenn said that women, uh, men were meant to go off and fight the wars and women stayed home. It's very much of women were to be protected. Now they put things in the paper. Blonde who passed, they were always giving your physical description. This is how they treated women in the press back then. I felt like we should have the same opportunities. They asked Jerry Cobb, why should we send a woman into space? And she replied, why should you send a man into space? It should be quality and women should have the same opportunities. The women of Mercury 13, including Ratley, introduced the idea of women going into space for others who followed. Back then, uh, they were more or less ignored us. Now, they treat us as honored guests. I think the thing that changed is women got to be accepted as astronauts. And the whole thing has evolved. Women are being recognized for the attributes they can bring to the program and what they can contribute. I think it made me aware of the way the things were then and how they have become now. New fields have opened to women. Now they're finding their own dreams and pursuing their own dreams.